So let's start with setup and installation. The first thing you want to do is to go to the website linked in the description down below. It will take you to the Dolphin Downloads page and you're going to want to download the latest version of Dolphin. At the time I'm recording, it's 2503, but by the time you watch this video, it might be different. So just get the one that's at the top. Click the Windows X64 to download the version of Dolphin for Windows. And you're also going to want to get the 64-bit Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2022. So click this link and it'll take you to this website here. Scroll down. And where it says X64, you're going to want to click the X64 version. If you're using a 64-bit processor, if you're using an older processor, you're going to want the X60, X86 version. Once you've got those two files, I've put them in a Dolphin folder on my desktop just to keep it clean. I'm going to double click the VC Redist executable, agree to the license terms and conditions, and click install. Yes. And it has installed it on my computer. So I'm going to right click and delete that. Next, I'm going to want to extract Dolphin. So I'm going to right click on the zip file and click extract all. And then just to keep things clean, I'm going to click on the folder that it has just made. Get the Dolphin X64 folder. I'm just going to drag that into my Dolphin folder here. And I'm going to delete the zip file and delete the empty file that's left. Now I'm going to click into the Dolphin X64 folder here. And you'll see Dolphin is there to open. But before I open it, I'm going to right click new text document. And I'm going to call that document portable. Now, the reason I do this is because when I launch Dolphin, it's going to create a user folder inside the Dolphin X64 folder. And inside this user folder is where I'm going to put all my textures, my mods, my gecko cheats, and things like that. I'm going to need that later on. Now Dolphin is open, I now need to set my games directory. So if I double click, go to my Dolphin folder, and I've put them all in this ROMs folder that I've created. Now, again, I cannot show you where to get the games because YouTube will strike this down. But if you go to Reddit, I'm sure there are a bunch of mega threads and places dedicated to finding ROMs and things like that. I only use dumps of games that I have purchased myself. Now to set everything up, I'm going to go to the config folder. I'm going to click enable cheats so that I can use gecko codes and action replay codes and things like that. I'm going to set my auto update to releases. So every few months, it's going to auto update it for me. I'm going to go to the interface section. I'm going to click download game covers from game TDB to use in grid mode. That will make it so that all of my game covers will appear. Next, I go to paths and you can see that my game folder is currently the path, but no games have appeared. Here, that's because they're all in subfolders. If I click search subfolders, all my games should start to appear. And you can see it's currently searching through my folders and all of the games are starting to appear. So I'm going to close the config section. I'm going to go to view and change it to grid view. And all of the box art is there for the games that I have. Next, I'm going to mess with the graphics settings. Now for backend, it really does depend on your GPU and CPU and what it is that you've got. Different GPUs react differently to different backends. So you're just going to want to start a game in, say, Direct 3D11. If it runs fine, then Direct 3D11 is the one for you. Or you can use Vulkan. My current GPU doesn't, my current GPU doesn't support Vulkan, so I'm going to be using either 11 or 12. I'm going to play a game, see how it reacts, and then choose it according to that. The adapter is your graphics adapter. I'm currently using my Mac M3 Pro because I don't own a PC right now, but your graphics card will appear here. So if you have an RTX 3060, make sure that it says RTX 3060. If you have a Radeon card, make sure that it has the name of the card there. As far as shaders are concerned, I use hybrid Uber shaders because they have a much better result than the specialized standard shaders. But if you have an issues, then you're going to want to use the specialized ones. And I always click compile shaders before starting because it does help alleviate stutters. When you first start playing the game, there might be a bit of stutter as the shaders do compile and go into a folder. But eventually, all of the shaders will be compiled and you'll just be able to play the game as stutter-free as possible. Now, before we go into the enhancements and the hack section, I'm going to have to load a game and show you how they work. So 
first I'm going to the advanced section and I'm going to click show FPS and show percentage speed. So then I can monitor the FPS and I can monitor the speed at which the game can run. So let's start Super Mario Sunshine. You see these shaders are currently compiling. It takes a little bit longer to open the game, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. Now, before I go into any of these enhancements or hacks or things like that, I'm going to show you the Dolphin Wiki. Dolphin has been around for years, which means a lot of the problems have been solved by the community and the community is an amazing place. So if you type into Google the name of the game plus Dolphin Wiki, it will give you a Dolphin Wiki page and it will highlight all of the problems and tell you exactly how to fix each issue. It will even give you things like enhancements like a Super Mario Sunburn mod, which will give you 60 FPS widescreen and other bug fixes and some improvements. It will show you where to find texture packs. So we have HD texture packs by Henrico Magnifico and the UHD texture pack that I've used in the past. And it will also give you gecko codes or widescreen hacks, 60 FPS and a lot of other interesting things. For example, like the graphics, the best graphics and video backend to use is either OpenGL or Vulkan. And it even has people's testing reports as well. So if you're using say a GTX 1080, it'll tell you what the best settings are for that. It's a great place to get started if you want to play a game and it to run as perfect as possible. So if we go back to Dolphin, so now we're in the game, we'll go over a few of the basic enhancements we can make, starting with the internal resolution. So in the graphics menu, I'm going to click on the enhancements tab. So the native for the GameCube is 640 by 528. If I click this tab, I can change it to 1080p. And as you can see in the top right corner here, my max speed has gone down from 250 for around two, no, for around 225%. And when I change the resolution, the max speed has gone down to around 200%. And that's kind of how I calculate things. When I mess around with this stuff, I want to keep this max speed at around 125% to 150%. So I can change it to 4K, which will bring the max speed down to 150. And now the game is running in 4K and it looks a lot clearer than it did before. If you want to, you can change it all the way to 8K if you have the hardware capabilities i don't and as you can see the speed has gone down the fps has gone down and the max speed has gone down and it looks and runs like shit so i'm going to bring that back to 1080p for myself and then the anti-aliasing we have two options msaa or ssaa ssaa is much better than msaa but it is more taxing on your gpu so if you have a good gpu Set it to 8 times SSAA or 4 times SSAA. And I will do that now just to show you. Change to 4 times. It's going to recompile the shaders. See, my speed has dramatically gone down to 100% to 99%. Still running quite smooth, but there's not a lot of leeway. So when I start adding extra like effects, like from the flood and things like that, it might go down I might have problems with the game so I'm going to lower that to maybe two times or four times basically you just want to mess around with it until you get the perfect middle ground of around max speed 125 to 100 speed the rest of the stuff here you just don't really want to touch it unless you're having extreme problems with the game so things on the hacks menu as you can see these are in bold and if you hover over it, it'll tell you exactly what it does. And it'll tell you what to do if you're unsure. So here for skip EFB access from CPU, it says if unsure, leave this checked. But it's unchecked right now. And it's in bold. Like I said, Dolphin has been around for a long time. And they know exactly what the best settings are for these games. And it kind of automatically loads them up. So if it's in bold, do not touch it. Unless you go to the Dolphin wiki page and it tells you to turn it off and on. And you can find all the answers you need on the Dolphin Wiki page. It is your best friend when you're emulating using Dolphin. And the Advanced tab is where you get the Show FPS and Show Percentage Speed. And you can also have a lot of other information if that's what you're into. 